This has happened to all of us. Pesky dust on the sensor. If you're out in the field and you see little black specks in the sky, uh, it could ruin a shoot. We're going to show you how easy and simple it is to clean your sensor even in the field. Camera stores charge between $40 and $75 just to clean the sensor. I will show you how to clean it for $0.25 cents per clean. Let's start by removing as much random dust as possible with this Giotto blower. Notice that it has a very small nozzle. It can produce a surprising amount of air. If you're using a can of compressed air, be very careful. Make sure that you hold the can up upright and do not shake it. The liquid propellant that comes out could damage your digital sensor and your, the coating on your lenses. Now, we remove the lens. Place it so, such that we can hold the camera face down. Insert the nozzle into the, the opening. Apply generous bursts of air. And the reason that we hold it face down is because of gravity. We want to stir up all that air, get it blowing around, and then have it slowly settle upon the table. Now we need to work on the lens. Make sure it's in the telephoto most part, uh, part of the zoom, and then apply the air inside the lens. Again, stir up the, lens, uh, the, the dust and let it f fall down to the table. This is a two ounce bottle of Eclipse. It retails for about $10.25. It should last for well over 100 cleanings, or about 10 cents per cleaning. You only need one or two drops to get the job done. It is basically race car fuel, 100% methanol. If you plan to travel to shoot, do not carry this on your person when going through the airport security. I predict that the TSA inspectors will have a limited appreciation of you carrying a liquid explosive on your person. Put it in your checked luggage. Let them x-ray it. No problem. In the unlikely event that the cap comes off in your luggage, every drop will evaporate long before you land with no stains. This is a product called Peck Pads. It contains 100 sheets of non-abrasive wipes. It retails for about $9 or about $0.10 cents per cleaning. The pads are to be used once and then discarded. This is a Peck Pad. The soft plastic kind, the kind that's soft like this. You're going to need an X-Acto knife to cut a right angle hard edge corner from the round side of the soft plastic. Make it look like this. If you have a Nikon camera with a DX sensor, the width of your spatula should be 17 millimeters. If you have a Canon with a DX sensor, the width of your spatula should be 16 millimeters. If you're shooting with a full-size sensor, the width of your spatula should be 24 millimeters. I know that some cameras have a menu item called the sensor cleaning mode. Some cameras do not have this feature. If you have it, use it. But we are going to set our camera at the manual exposure mode, like so, at 15 seconds. Every camera has this setting. So now we open the shutter and use the blower nozzle to dislodge any dust that might be on the sensor before we clean it with the Eclipse and the Peck Pad. Apply generous air, move it around, stick the nozzle right in there. You don't have to worry about touching or scratching the sensor. There's a protective piece of glass that never actually lets you touch the sensor. Just make sure you remove the blower nozzle before the 15 seconds is up. Take the spatula and a sheet from the package of Peck Pads. Fold it over the spatula and fold it tightly around the spatula, making hospital corners or with the precision that you might use when wrapping Christmas presents. Then take a piece of tape, and this could be old nasty tape from the junk drawer, but affix this so the peck pad does not move. We're now ready to apply the liquid. You can open up the, the Eclipse and take a couple of drops, one or two drops, using gravity and the capillary action, apply two drops to the top of that, that uh, peck pad, and then we're going to open up the sensor, I mean the, the shutter, we place it in and we wipe from the top to the bottom. Pull it out, repeat, turn this over, 
and wipe from the top to the bottom. Resist the temptation of putting it in there and scrubbing up and down. If you had a speck of dust on there or like sand, it would be an abrasive uh, action and it would harm your, your protective glass. Just a simple wipe. Enough pressure to actually bend the plastic right here. You have just cleaned your sensor. How do you know if it's really clean? Let's shoot a photograph and confirm that it really is clean. Set your exposure mode to aperture priority mode. That would be the A mode for the Nikons and the AV mode for the Canons. Then set your exposure compensation to plus 2.0. Keep the lens off the camera body and shoot a photograph of any clear white surface. We don't care about the white balance right now. Let's confirm that the sensor really is clean. Push the replay button to call up the photo we just shot. The, the histogram should be all the way to the right and the image should be pretty much all white. At this point, we hit the playback of the image that we just created. Now each camera is going to be different, but on this particular camera, we go to the magnification button and we hit it three times. One, two, three. That will give us a small yellow square inside of the second smaller uh, playback. We're going to move that magnification part around with the navigation tool until we can inspect all of the sensor from top to bottom, from left to right, and then another one right down the middle. If we see black specks, then we know that we have to re-clean the sensor. If we do not see black specks, we're done cleaning the sensor. We're now ready to clean our lenses. These are the materials you're going to need. The PEC pads that we use to clean the sensor, but I recommend that you use ROR, standing for Residual Oil Remover. Take the top off, place one drop of the ROR into the center of the PEC pad, then take the PEC pad and apply it to the center of the lens with a soft circular motion from the center working your way out to the outside edges. You may notice that there's still some liquid on the lens. Now go to one of the corners of the PEC pad and mop up the excess liquid, polishing the lens, if you will. If you still have any residual oil remover on the lens and you still have a drying spot, then you might use a microfiber cloth repeating the process from the center working your way out to the outside edge. Never apply the liquid directly to the lens. My name is Bryce Dennison. I am the director of Midwest Photography Workshops. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If so, please visit our website at www.mpw.com. There you'll find a full listing of our classes, workshops, and photo safaris. Thank you.